Jets TV News. Good morning, Cathedral. We hope you had a great long weekend. I'm Miss Vesperini. And I'm Ryan with your morning announcements for Tuesday, February the 19th. Let's start the show with a message from Joanna and Mason. Last week was an awesome week to be a Gale. Many of our teams are heading to semifinals or the finals, and some, like our wrestlers, are champions. To celebrate, Mrs. Cannon and the VPs have agreed to allow us to have a spirit wear day tomorrow. If you need some spirit wear, don't forget that you can buy the new spirit wear in the student council office during your lunch. Shirts are $15 each. If you would rather short sleeve tees, you can get those from the CSE office, room 312. They are two for $15. So tomorrow, come to school in your spirit wear, jerseys, gym sweatpants, club hoodies, anything that is from Cathedral. And speaking of jerseys, our Shirts vs. Skin jersey, jersey drive has now begun. Student Council will be giving away a prize to the student who brings in the most jerseys that they are no longer using. All the jerseys collected are going to be shipped out and distributed to children in less fortunate countries. It's a great cause, so I encourage everyone to donate their old jerseys. The more jerseys you bring in, the higher chance you have of winning a prize. If you have any jerseys, bring them to the student council office before school or after school. And for each jersey you bring in, you'll be entered into a raffle to win a gift card to a sports store. Once again, it's a great cause, so bring in those jerseys within the next couple of days. And a spirit day isn't all that's happening tomorrow. Right after school tomorrow, CHS is taking part in the internet phenomenon known as the Harlem Shake. The Harlem Shake video lasts about 30 seconds and features an excerpt from the song Harlem Shake by Bauer. Usually the video begins with one person who is often helmeted or masked dancing to the song alone for about 15 seconds, surrounded by other people not paying attention or unaware of the dancing. When the bass drops, the video switches to the entire crowd doing a crazy dance for the next 15 seconds. We want to fill the entire forum with hundreds and hundreds of students in their spirit where to show off the incredible amount of school spirit we have. We're going to be able to see a, uh, see a blue and white, so make sure to wear your spirit wear tomorrow, Gales. More information will be coming on your way tomorrow, so now back to your anchors. Thanks, guys. Tomorrow is certainly going to be a fun day. Can you play the guitar, bass guitar, piano, drums, or any other instrument? If so, then the Glee Club wants you to be part of their plan. The Cathedral Glee Club is putting together a band for their end of the year show. If you are interested in being in the Glee Club band, then please sign up for an audition time outside of room 217. The auditions will be held on Monday, February 25th and Thursday, February 27th after school. If you have any other questions or concerns, then please come find Mr. LaRue sometime today. Do you need some volunteer hours? If so, All Souls Church is looking for students to help out in their annual Spaghetti Supper Dinner Dance on Saturday, March 9th. If you're interested, please see Miss LaRue in room 309 or room 303 anytime today. And speaking of volunteering, don't forget that this Friday is Think Fast and you can still participate, but you must have a permission form. Get yours from Mr. McNorgan's office if you've signed up for him, or if you signed up rather, please submit it to his office as well. There will be an eco team meeting today after school in room 110. All members are asked to attend as you will be taking your yearbook photo. If you have them, please bring your club hoodies. Thanks from Mr. Purs, Mr. Dantino, and Mr. Trabuco. Also after school today, there will be a board game club meeting in room 337. All are welcome. Thank you from Mr. LaRock. This is a message from the guidance department. The website for Path to Success is now open for those students who will be registering at Cathedral next year. That includes all of you who are watching this video today. This week, your guidance counselors will be making classroom visits to walk you through the step-by-step -step process of selecting your option sheets for next year. Later this week, we will also be showing you a video. If you are a grade 12 who is not planning to return next year, you are to tell the main office as soon as possible. Included in this list are students who have already applied to college and university. You need not hear back from the college or university before you go to the main office and inform them of your intentions to not return because you're heading off to post-secondary education. The main office must be informed if you aren't returning and we are stressing that point. So what do you need in preparation to select your options for next year? 
Check your credit counseling, which can be done online. Ensure that you have the proper prerequisites. Select the proper religion course. Take into account teacher recommendations, which you can find on your report cards. Explore your post-secondary pathways, and you can meet with your guidance counselor to do so. Keep in mind only one focus course per grade level of phys ed can be taken. That's all for now from guidance, but heads up, we'll be coming at you again this week. And teachers, we will be making classroom visits throughout the course of this week, so in your mailboxes, there will be information for you. The University of Waterloo, this is where you really need a glass of water or coffee to keep you going. The University of Waterloo math contest will be written Thursday morning here at Cathedral. Any grade 9 or 10 students who would like to write the contest are asked to speak with Mr. Hargott in room 319 during period 4 today. Grade 9 students who wrote the grade 8 math contest last year are encouraged to participate. All students who have taken a permission form to judge the science fair at St. Eugene's on February 20th are asked to return the forms as soon as possible to Ms. Salsicholi. If they are not handed in by the end of the day, you will not be able to attend. Now moving into sports, congratulations to the senior girls volleyball team on an exciting victory Friday in playoff action against Burbuff. The team defeated Burbuff in three straight sets, including a nail-biting 27-minute long first set which Cathedral came out ahead with a score of 33-31. to The girls played so well that the referees plan to come out and cheer on Cathedral for their next game against this, or thanks to the senior boys volleyball team for, and also thank you to the senior boys volleyball team for coming out to cheer as well. Congratulations girls and good luck in the rest of the playoffs. See you tonight at practice. Thanks for Ms. Craig and Mr. Cappadocia. Last Friday our midget girls volleyball team played one of their toughest games of the season against a second place Bishop Ryan team. Although we had one of the best games of the season, taking many leads throughout the game, we couldn't secure a win. The team should be proud of its continued improvement all season long. Thank you, Ms. McCabe, and all the students who came out to support the team on Friday, as well as to all the students who helped coach and develop the team throughout the season. The team is reminded to return their washed uniforms to Mr. Hargott as soon as possible. G-Hack for the swim team takes place this Thursday at Guelph University. Practices tomorrow at Pinky Lewis and all swimmers should attend as team pictures will be taken. The boys relay team of Mike, Chad, Sean and Aaron qualified for G-Hack, so all boys must be at this practice. Any G-Hack swimmers not attending tomorrow's practice must see Coach Lucier today regarding team travel for Thursday. Thanks from Coach Lucier. The Cathedral boys hockey team played their quarterfinal playoff game today at 3.30 against St. Thomas More Knights at the Coronation State, uh, not the stadium, the arena. The Gales battled hard during their last regular season contest against STM, losing a hard fought game 5-3. Come out after school and support your Gales on ice. Cathedral, all players are to be dismissed at 2 p.m. today with their teacher's permission. Thank you from coaches Tool, Mule, and Chafe. The girls hockey team enters the playoffs tomorrow and their last practice of the season is today at 4 p.m. at Scott Park Arena. With teacher's permission, all girls hockey players are asked to meet for a very brief meeting in front of room 335 immediately following these announcements. Thank you for Mr. Dentino. Our senior boys indoor soccer team have their first game against St. Mary's today at 425 at Soccer World. Players are to be at the game ready to go at 345. If you have any questions or concerns, please see Mr. DeClaudio or Mr. Matsuka. And now we pass it on to Ms. McCabe. And Mrs. Cannon. Good morning, Cathedral. Wow, Ms. McCabe, we have some pretty exciting stuff going on this week. New sports starting, right? Oh, yeah. And some sports into playoffs, unbelievable. But I gotta tell you, watching that senior girls Volleyball team on Friday was very, very exciting. Congratulations to the team, to the coaches, and all the great fan support. And unfortunately, our midget and junior girls ended their season prematurely as far as we're concerned. Oh, yes. But a stellar season from all involved. Thank you so much to the coaches, midget girls, Mr. Hargott, and our junior girls. I know Mrs. Pearson isn't with us this semester, but I know she put in a lot with the team and all our fantastic outside volunteer coaches as well. Just awesome. 
Absolutely fantastic, Miss. And you know, our, our senior girls are in a semifinal game. I can't remember the last time one of our senior girls teams was in a semifinal game. That's going to be tomorrow. We don't have the time yet, but be prepared to get out and cheer somewhere across the city. It's probably going to be after school. So make those plans and we'll announce that tomorrow. Absolutely. Fan support is so crucial, so important, because when the fans are there cheering all our athletes on, then we know that the whether it's the boys, the girls out there, then they've got the fan support behind them. Now, one sport that's kind of tough to get fans out to is the swimming, just because of the way it is. But we are behind you. We're so proud of you. We're proud of the accomplishments all the achievements that you've made up till now and we know that the swim meet is going to be a great show of sportsmanship and skill most definitely and mrs cannon what about our boys basketball teams what about that look at those juniors they are going to be out there and the midgets we are just so excited as they move forward to the semifinals. and i gotta tell you the juniors are up there at Bray Buff, and they absolutely need our support. So we hope we're out there. Hockey team as well. So take a pick, people. Be somewhere to support our cathedral student athletes. One last thing. And, and don't forget that our midgets are on at 3.30 today too, right? Um, are they at Cardinal Newman today, miss? I think right? so. I think I, that I, is. I believe so. Yeah. And, and you know, I'm holding a special trophy here. Second time in a row that we have our girls wrestling team winning the championship so congratulations ladies and coaches and all the boys and fantastic that is awesome when we heard the news friday afternoon that our girls had captured the women's wrestling city championship title we were ecstatic so congratulations to our student wrestlers and a big thank you and appreciation to our coaches Ms. Howard Run, Mr. Ruyu, and Mr. Crosta, and to all the fans. Well done. Yes, and, and get out there and support your gales this week. It's a great time to be a gale. Get your spirit wear. Get out there. Get loud. Be proud. Be true blue. Thank you. Have a great day, Cathedral. Have a wonderful one. Thank you, Mrs. Cannon and Ms. McCabe. And those are all of your announcements to the Cathedral. I'd like to thank my wonderful co-host, Ms. Vesperini, for helping out in a pinch, literally helped us out. We had no other anchors. Have a great day, Gales, and thanks for watching.